Okay, so in the last part of the lecture, we saw that the class F amplifier could be implemented using a, uh, a series transmission line going from the drain towards the uh, load. It could be implemented using a shunt transmission line uh, in the path of the supply network towards the drain. Or we could uh, do something like uh, uh, add a bunch of parallel resonant networks in series going from the drain to the output. And none of those are really practically integratable due to the large sizes of transmission lines on integrated circuits uh, and or the large number of inductors that would need that would be needed for parallel resonant tanks. So one thing to ask is, what if not all harmonics had to be terminated? This analysis largely came from a paper by Fritz Robb from June of 2001 in the Transactions on Microwave Theory and Techniques. Now he noted that the efficiency of a class F amplifier is equal to some coefficients, uh, the product of two coefficients, a voltage coefficient and a current coefficient. Now he labeled these gamma V and gamma I, and these are coefficients that depend on the number of harmonic terminations. So gamma V depends upon the number of harmonic terminations of odd harmonic terminations uh, to terminate and uh, create the square voltage waveform. And gamma I depends upon the number of even harmonic terminations to half rectify the current waveform. So in the analysis, uh, if we were to uh, terminate the uh, PA or to not terminate any harmonics other than the fundamental, we would be left with gamma V and gamma I is equal to one. And if we look at these and find the efficiency, we would see that eta CF, I'll call this one comma one is equal to 50%. And this looks like a class A. Okay. So he gives in the paper uh, some of these coefficients. I'm just going to fill them in here. So what we see immediately is that the coefficients for the current waveforms or, or gamma I are bigger than those for the voltage waveforms. And what that tells us is that terminating even harmonics will have a bigger impact on efficiency than terminating odd harmonics. Okay, so we can make a table here that finds the efficiency as a product of terminating odd harmonics and even harmonics and, and the combination thereof. And again, I made a table, so I'm going to fill this in. So we see if we only terminate one harmonic each for the uh, just the fundamental, we get an efficiency of 50%. This is the same as a class A. We also see that we get bigger deltas in efficiency as we move down rows rather than across columns. And this is saying that the even harmonic terminations give us bigger improvements in efficiency. One thing that's nice to note is that for just terminating the fundamental plus the second and third harmonic, we get an efficiency of 82%. So what's important to note here is that 82% is larger than 78.5%, which is the efficiency of a class B amplifier. Now, one of the things that's interesting to note about a class F amplifier is that though it isn't intrinsically a linear amplifier, it performs best when it's switching. When we back the power down from a class F amplifier, it starts to behave like a class B amplifier. So one of the things that we've seen recently in the literature and in conferences are so-called linear class F power amplifiers where they're doing harmonic terminations and in fact, these are actually just class B amplifiers with some additional uh, harmonic terminations that create additional uh, pulse shaping efficiency. So we're going to stop there for the day. And what we're going to look at next is can we realize a more compact uh, class F network that doesn't rely on all of these harmonic terminations uh, and instead just relies on a few passive components, uh, just a couple of inductors or a couple of capacitors.